the JAMA Network. In this case, the patient is in atrial fibrillation or AFib. The smaller waves are irregular and seem to come and go. A patient can develop this abnormal heart rhythm during or after surgery. AFib that occurred after surgery was thought to be a temporary condition. And, and there was not a lot of emphasis placed on careful, long-term monitoring and follow-up of patients who developed AFib after surgery. Dr. Human Kamel from Weill Cornell Medical College and co-authors examined data from more than 1.7 million inpatient surgeries performed across the state of California over a four-year period. About one and a half percent of these patients during or after their surgery developed uh, AFib that seemed to be a new diagnosis. Patients who underwent cardiac surgery had a higher risk of developing AFib than those who had other types of surgery. Both groups of patients were followed for up to five years after surgery to assess their stroke risk. Among patients who had cardiac surgery, having AFib afterwards did increase your risk of stroke in the long term, but not by a tremendous amount. It was about 30 percent higher than the patients who didn't develop AFib. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Among the patients who had non-cardiac surgery and, and who did develop AFib, their risk of stroke was much higher. It was about 100% higher, or two-fold higher than the people who did not have AFib. Dr. Kamel says patients developing AFib after surgery should be followed very closely. These diagnoses of AFib after surgery need to be documented and clearly communicated to patients so that they can be followed appropriately uh, over the long term. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.